Hi, this is Thomas Becca, and this is a tutorial for Virtual Cell version 5.1, an environment for modeling cell biological processes developed by the National Resource of Cell Analysis and Modeling at the University of Connecticut Health Center. It is funded by the NIH, and this is a tutorial on how to access Pathway Commons and import biological pathways into your biomodel. So, first things you want to do is you want to go to the database panel and click on Pathway Commons. And then in the search bar, you're allowed to search for, for specific entities such as interactions or protein names within a pathway. So for this tutorial, we're going to search EGFR, which is an acronym for Epidermal Growth Factor Receptor. And then you click search and it will show you a list of all the pathways that involve EGFR. And you can further narrow this amount by using the filter tool. And with this, you can search for specific names within the actual titles of the pathway. And for this one, we're looking for signaling by EGFR. And then Reactome tells us, and Reactome tells us the name of the database where the pathway comes from, and Homo sapiens tells us that this pathway occurs in humans. And so we want to select this pathway, and then if you click open web link, it will take, VSA will link you directly to the pathways page on Pathway Commons website, pathwaycommons.org. And here you can get a lot more information on the pathway if you want. And it's a good resource tool. So if you want to begin the process of importing the pathway, you'll click Preview. And this will let you choose what to import. And as you can see, there's a lot of entities. You can't even display them all on one page. You have to Actually, there's actually two pages and we right now we want to look for a specific biochemical reaction and an easier way to do that is if you click on type it will filter all the entities by their type so all the biochemical reactions will go first and we're searching for the specific reaction CBL bond binds to GRB2 and then we're going to select import and choose selected only and the other options plus interactions will import the entity you chose and any interactions it's involved with plus components will import any s associated components and then plus complexes will import the entity as well as any complexes associated with it and then once it's imported, you can see it in the pathway diagram. And if you want to reorganize it, you can use these tools. And since there's only a few entities, it's relatively easy to reorganize them. Whereas with larger pathways where you have a lot of entities you've imported, it would be more useful to look at it through the pathway objects tab. So what you want to do is even though we've imported this it hasn't been sent into our actual bio model in the physiology so before we select everything it's important to know that if you click on a specific entity in the diagram you're, if you look in objects properties you'll be given links to different websites such as PubMed and this will give you information, additional information on the entity. So it's just another way that vCell gives you a lot of resources for what you're working with for additional information. And then we want to link all of this to the physiology, so we're going to select them all. You could just click and drag a box around everything, and they'll be highlighted in red. And then click on Physiology Links and then import into physiology. And here, 
you will see and this will give you information on everything that you're importing and linking to the physiology and the numbers and text in black are what you you can edit these so you can actually edit the sto stoichiometric coefficients if you want but you can leave them as the default of one for this tutorial and if you had created additional compartments in the structure diagram you could specify which compartment you wanted the you wanted the entity to go into but since we only have one compartment we don't need to worry about that and we're not going to change any of their IDs and then Visa will give you a window telling you what's been imported and converted into the physiology and then you'll see this creates your species and reactions like normal as you but they also have an L and this means that it's linked to the pathway and if you select the species and in object properties you go to linked op pathway objects this will take you directly to that species within the pathway and then you could go right back through the linked physiology object link so that's just an easy way to go back and forth between the two and conversely if you add a species in the physiology you can also link it to the pathway so if you s select the species that you created click on pathway links and then edit pathway links and then you can link that species to one of the entities or so we can choose that one and it will be linked to the grb2 see it's linked to it so it allows you to create additional species and link them to the pathway and now it'd be a good idea to teach you how to import an entire pathway so we want to do is using control a you're going to select everything and since this pathway has so many entities that they extend to an additional page this one will only import the first 200 entities so we're going to choose selected only and then we're going to go to the next page and then using control A we'll select all of these and import those as well and as you can see there's a ton of entities on the diagram and no no matter which way you organize it it's still going to be hard to read so if you go to pathway objects it gives you all of the entities in a list format which is much easier to navigate and then you can also search like you did before so we're going to search CBL binds to GRB2 and you also get the object properties with the links as before and it will also if it's been link to the physiology that link will appear there as well so we want to link all of this in the physiology so we'll choose control a physiology links and then import into physiology and then if anything that you've selected has already been linked visa will notify you which those are and it will not link them again and again, if you can adjust the coefficients in the compartment locations, as well as the ID, but we're going to leave everything as the default for this tutorial. And then we're going to, and then it will tell you everything that's been converted into the physiology. And then we still have the set the second page of entities to link. So use control A and then import that into the physiology as well. 
And again, we can leave everything as a default. And this one, this diagram is also incredibly hard to read due to the large number of species and reactions. So we can go to the reactions tab and view everything in a list format. And then if you select a reaction, you can view its kinetic type and as also its forward and reverse rate constants. So, and the reason the default rates are zero is because there's no information on the rate constants within the database itself. So you have to supply the rate constants. And there's an easier way to do that, which we will show after we create the first application. And the purpose of the application is it allows you to investigate the up and down regulation of species in the pathway. And we can add, go to applications, add a new deterministic application. And you can leave the name as the default application zero. And then you want to go to the specifications tab because since this is a compartmental model we don't need to create a geometry for it. And in the specifications tab we're going to select all of the species and then if we right click we can enter in the initial condition for all of them simultaneously and we're going to enter one. And as you can see all of the species have their initial conditions have been changed to one and then we also have to go to the second page and change these species initial conditions to one and you don't have to make all of their initial conditions identical it's just for this tutorial it saves time and it's simpler to do it this way and now I mentioned earlier how we would have to adjust the rate constants. The easiest way to do that for a model this large is to go to parameters and functions. And the only, we're not interested in global parameters or any functions. So we can uncheck those to narrow down our search to just our reactions within the application. And you can further filter what you're looking for using this the search bar and if we search KF for forward rate, rate the forward rate constant we get all the forward rate constants within our bio model so if we select all of them using control A we right click and then we can enter the rate constant for all of our reactions at once and we can enter one for this the forward rate constant And then, you, as you can see, virtual cell changed all of the rate const forward rate constants to 1. And then we can do the same for the reverse rate constants. So you select everything with control A, right click, and then for the reverse rate constant, you're going to enter 0 0.1. and then virtual cell will change all the reverse rate constants to 0.1 and again the rate constants do not all need to be uniform you can change them individually they were just changed to a single uniform rate so this tutorial would be simpler and quicker and now we can actually run the simulation so we head to the simulations tab within the application we've created we select add new simulation and in this tutorial we don't need to worry about editing the simulation and we can go ahead and run it and if you don't want to save it to the actual server you can do a local run using the blue button and so we'll, you can run the simulation and because this is a local save if you close your your results it won't save your results and you can't go back to them as you would with the, the run and save your simulation 
So that's also helpful to know. And in the results, you can view how the concentrations of species change. Or you can look how the fluxes change, which all the fluxes will start with, a, their names will start with a J, so they'll all be together on the list. And this is how all the fluxes have changed. And you can adjust the size of your window to make it easier to see. Or if you wanted to, you could select everything and just take away the time. And this will show you how everything in the model has changed. And that's how to utilize Pathway Commons in VirtualSelf.